Hey everyone, John from Netcom here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to mesh your CF40 mesh gateway with your CFS40 satellite. So what you want to do, first of all, is have your CF40 mesh uh, gateway set up and connected to the internet. So you can see here on mine, the uh, WAN LED is on, uh, indicating that it's got internet and the Wi-Fi LED is on. So all is good to go. Um, and so first of all, that means you need to have a Ethernet cable, which is supplied with the product uh, in the red uh, WAN port, and then the other end going to your NBN uh, or UFB termination device. So when that's done, you want to set up your CFS40, you want to set them up next to each other, and you want to have this one powered on, and both of them powered on, sorry. And what you're going to do is push the WPS button on the back of the gateway for two seconds. So one, two, and then the WPS LED is going to blink. And then I'm going to push the WPS button on the satellite for two seconds. One, two, and the signal strength LEDs are then going to flash in sequence. Now this process can take uh, up to 10 minutes, but usually uh, much less than that. So what I'll do is I'm going to time it and I'll tell you how long it took. Okay, so that took approximately four and a half minutes for the satellite to find the gateway and the signal strength LEDs all lit up. Uh, what happens after that is that the satellite will reboot once and that might take another couple of minutes for it to come back up and then the LEDs will, will all turn on uh, like this and then you're good to go. So what you can do now is unplug this one and uh, put it somewhere else within your home to extend your Wi-Fi network and then you're all done. Okay, now there is another method that you can use to pair a satellite with the gateway and that is by using the included Ethernet cable with the yellow tips that's uh, included in the box with the satellite. So I've got a, a second satellite here and what I'll do is I'm going to connect the Ethernet cable to any of the yellow LAN ports on the back. And then I'm going to connect the other end to any of the yellow LAN ports on the gateway. And again, we'll just wait be patient. This could take up to 10 minutes uh, again. And so what I'll do is I'll time it and I'll let you know how long it took when we come back. Okay, we're back. And this took just under three minutes for it to, to mesh, uh, which is actually quicker than the WPS method. Uh, it also did not reboot um, after it discovered. So that's an alternative method, um, perhaps one that you would be interested in trying. Anyway, that's been it for this video. Um, if you liked it, please hit that like button and subscribe for more. Thank you.